Hi, beautiful people, how are you? So today we talked about the difference between spirituality and the brain processes, the emotional healing that happens with personal growth. And some people asked me questions that I thought were really intriguing, so I wanted to bring this new unfolding of yesterday's conversation to you. So one of the things that I really wanna emphasize in my experience and opinion and from what I could really see empirically and practically, the cells of our bodies understand prayer and meditation. So when we talk about the surrendering process of spirituality, we're literally talking to the cells of the body. Based on many energy healing modalities and in my own observations, I see this in practical terms in my practice, in my space. So we have mental processes, we have emotional processes, but even if you do affirmations and mentally, you know, you just command yourself to be healthy and happy and wonderful, what I do see is that the most efficient way to communicate to the cells of your body is through prayer and meditation. So a lot of people do not want to develop a spiritual life or surrender to spirituality, don't want to pray. It's interesting because people think meditation is a more a rational or socially acceptable practice in our Western culture rather than prayer. So meditation is more accepted. So if you just want to go for meditation, go for it. Just know that the cells of your body are beyond rational thinking. They get affected by emotions and negative emotions as well as positive emotions. But the way to heal your cells, the way to program your cells, which, by the way, is not just about physical health. The cells of your body are complex beings that carry programs and blueprints, not just for physical health, but also for your financial success, for your professional happiness, for your relationship joy, for your you know family love. All of that is stored in each cell of your body. Reason why, again, I emphasize meditation and prayer are the most powerful things you can do. They act on the crown chakra, which is the highest position in a hierarchy of chakras. And if you're not familiar with chakras, there's a lot of content in my website that you can follow and that you can check out so that you get familiar. So in a nutshell, what I wanted to emphasize, yes, we have personal growth processes and spiritual processes. Meditation can be part of a personal growth process. So can prayer. But the surrendering of a spiritual life communicates directly with the cells of your body, each and every one of them. All right? This is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you, and I will see you soon.